find the fish. Always. Here we go, guys. We're going to put together a ribbon fish rig the way that we like to fish them on the How You Reel and Strictly Fishing, Kingfish Cartel. Going to show you guys a little the way we go with it. We like to go with the hookup lures, one ounce or half ounce works. That's what we like for our jig head. Nice. Bring the package in. There you go. We go with 50 pound AFW titanium. That's what we use on our lead. To tie the titanium, we try to keep it simple. We don't use no crimps, which you can if you like. This has always been our preferred method for the last couple years. Three times around, back through. Just a basic clinch knot. Grab the tag end, line it up. I like to use this to keep it nice and clean. A couple wraps, just pull it so it's nice and tight. Good to go. Cut off your tag end here. Leave it a little bit on there. No reason to cut it too short. Go with it like that. Then we like to add a nice skirt. We add a wild willies over here. When you rig this ribbon fish rig, you're gonna come through here, and then when, when you're when you're pulling it, it's gonna give a nice fan out and give a nice big, you know, fan over the fish. Nice exposure. Beautiful little rig there. Sweet. My buddy Nick's buddy hooked us up. Yep. Wild Willies witches. That's a wild, wild willy right there. You guys gotta check them out. You guys will be happy with the product. Wild willy action. That's nice. And that's it. Then after that, we connect our swivel. You can go with a Spro, AFW, whatever you like. We prefer, we go with an 80 pound. We like to use the Mighty Mini AFW product. We're an AFW fan. They make a good product. Same thing, three times around, back through. And you guys can also make this rig with straight wire if you want, just regular single strand. We prefer the titanium personally, but we make them both ways. You know, it just depends on what we're doing. Same thing, and that you know pretty much completes the lead part of it. And then while I'm doing this, typically the other guys are building the other part of the rig, which is the trebles and all that. So this is the basic lead part. We do about three foot, because when you add a couple trebles to it, you want to make sure that it can fit on your rod properly. So we're, uh, for our ribbon fish rigs, we use number eight AFW tooth proof. Uh, we prefer the silver. That's 86 pound test. Uh, we find it easier to just take the whole spool, kind of grab a couple pieces at a time, just cut them when you can. Sometimes it works with two, sometimes it's three, sometimes it's none. <laughs> just like that, and we just go through the whole the whole spool. Um, you know, we're gonna end up wrapping a couple boxes of hooks. So that keeps them all the same length. It keeps them all about the same length, and the. Uh, the ties will hold it all together for you so you're not dropping wire everywhere and it makes it easier than having to measure out each single piece. Um, it's going to be a lot lot longer than what you're going to need so that way you can move the hooks and make the, your, your adjustments especially on your live bait rigs. Come in tight right here. That's why these guys are pros. So there it is and it all stays together. Sweet! Go on down, pull one out. These are VMC. We prefer the silver hooks on the ribbon fish. Because? Uh, because the fish are silver. And they, we're hoping that it hides it a little bit more. There you go. Uh, these are 4X uh, 9626. Nine, and we just do our basic wraps on here. Everybody has a preference. I like to do 5 and 5. Uh, it's just always been the way that I've done it. And then on the fifth one, we start our barrels. Make it tight, so it starts to stack on itself. All right, then we take our crank around the finger, around the thumb, and just crank it right off. That's it, and that way it's nice and smooth on your hands. You're not going to stick yourself with nothing. And uh, we start making a bunch of these, and then we move on from there. And uh, I think Rob's going to finish this rig up. So to finish this rig off, Bobby, Yep. we're going to be tying three treble hooks together. We'd like to leave about six to seven inches in between treble hooks. Our ribbon fish are 24 to 28 inches, so you can do the math. So 
We'll tie these all together. Clean break. Yeah. Now we're ready to tie on the lead. Here's the original. Here's the original rig we started with, and then Rob will complete it to get it right. And you've done it so many times that you just basically know that it's that's the length that you need yes <laughs> yeah it's it's not a it doesn't have to be something that's exactly perfect unless unless eric's doing it it's got to be perfect all right but we won't show him this one the hooks may be six seven inches eric would be upset <laughs> does he actually pull out a ruler and check them I'm oh to, no! To the, to the eighth. Really? Oh boy. Here, put one measuring stick over there. You can measure it out right here and show you guys the rig to complete it. So there's a complete ribbon fish rig. Where it's already set up, where it's you know made to rig the opposite, but this one is set up that when you're pulling it, to do the it'll reverse. fan out and give a nice look push through the water too right yeah, so it works good and the total rig typically is in the five foot range if you look right here five five and a half foot just depending and we come right here oh right man up. you weren't kidding he does have a ruler so we're right here at five foot and if you see you know most of our ribbon fish are 28 inches to 30 on this bigger one some are 24 but you see right here we got about a two foot rig so it should fit it perfectly and we know we got about a three foot lead. We like to about, you know, keep it between 36 inches and 40, depending on, you know, the size of rod we're fishing also so that we can connect the treble hooks to the real seed and not have trebles flying around. All right, so here's our ribbon fish. Um, this is a bigger one than what we're, we go with. And uh, it's pretty simple to put them together. You wanna to watch out for the teeth in the front right there. Those will get you every time when you're in a hurry. And we take our lead hook we find the soft spot under the jaw and go right through the top. So now he's pinned on there. You have your rig lay along the side of your bait. I try to keep the first one out of the belly so that way you don't have any blowouts. You can see how sharp those VMC yeah. treble hooks are. They'll snag anything. Second one. You're laying it nice and tight on there, right? Yeah, I want, you want to have it tight so where it's kind of hidden in there but you need it to have it loose enough that's why I, I go down and in so that the fish can move so it's not it's not stuck on a string so now it can it can still bend while it goes there you go um, if it's too tight the fish won't move and that uh yeah they, they, you have to make it look alive so that's your final product uh these are a must for tournament fishing especially for king fishing there's no reason to not have them on the boat and uh Key West Killer. Key West Killer. And that's how you put it together right there. Nice. There you go. That's cool. So your nose hook. Up through the nose. And it looks tight, but it's not tight. Because when you put it, when you put it, when he put it in, he actually pushes it a little Once bit the forward. Bard sinks in, right. Right. You're going up. So a you got bit, a, so you get a, little a little bit play. Loose, right. You want to keep these. it tucked and hidden on the fish. So you don't want anything extra sticking out on the fish. Some people like to go down the side. Some people like to hook them on the top. Some people like to hook them on the bottom. Some people like to cut the fins off. They say the fins make them spin. And uh, it's pretty simple to put them together. You want to watch out for the teeth in the front right there. Those will get you every time when you're in a hurry. And we take our lead hook, we find the soft spot under the jaw, and go right through the top. So now he's pinned on there. You have your rig lay along the side of your bait. I try to keep the first one out of the belly, so that way you don't have any blowouts. You can see how sharp those VMC yeah. treble hooks are. They'll snag anything. Second one. 
You're laying it nice and tight on there, right? Yeah, I want, you want to have it tight so it's kind of hidden in there, but you need it to have it loose enough. That's why I, I go down and in so that the fish can move so it's not it's not stuck on a string. So now it can it can still bend while it goes. There you go. Um, if it's too tight, the fish won't move. And that, uh, you want it to swim. yeah, they, they, you have to make it look alive. So that's your final product. Uh, these are a must for tournament fishing, especially for king fishing. And there's no reason to not have them on the boat. And uh, Key West Killer. Key West Killer. And that's how you put it together right there. Nice touch.